After her first appearance at the Dutch house, Andrea lingered like a virus. As soon as we were sure we'd seen the last of her and months would go by without a mention of her name, there she'd be at the dining room table again, chastened by her absence at first and then slowly warming over time. Andrea, fully warmed, talked about nothing but the house. She was forever going on about some detail of the crown molding or speculating as to the exact height of the ceiling, as if the ceiling were entirely new to us. That's called egg and dart, she'd say to me, pointing up. Just when she'd reached the point of being truly intolerable, she'd disappear again and the relief would wash over Maeve and me, and we assumed our father, with its glorious silence. 